Okay, so here's my Forerunner. Don't mind the dirt. I've traveled like 6,000 miles across the United States and now I'm in Canada, so, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> it's getting beat up. What I did is I put those WeatherTech um, uh, sun shields in all my windows. I got the whole full set. I don't know if you can see the lines. I don't like how um, the black side of the WeatherTech sunshades are reflective, you know, shiny, because then you really see those streaks. And it, you know, you can tell somebody's blacked out their windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to DIY some fabric covering over it. Not happy with this gap. I mean, I guess maybe it'll, I guess it's okay. Let's see, it, it just... This one is... This is kind of how it is. Little pull tab. So this is the black side. So here's the other side of the weather tech and if I just you know you just pull this out so these these side windows are actually pretty good they fit pretty good okay and this one this fits pretty good too so this was as good as I was able to get the windshield one I forgot to include that in my um You know, I don't know. I mean, it's awfully expensive. Oh, wait. Okay, so that that tucked in a little better. But, I mean, how perfect do you need it, really? I think it's... I think it's just too... I think it's just not quite cut right. I think it's just too long because this is fitting pretty well over here. There's a tiny little gap right there, but I don't think that tiny little gap is the cause of all of this buckling here. And, you know, I have this CB here, but I don't know. I mean, it's kind of going back there pretty well. I don't think the CB is the cause of the problem. I think it's just, I don't know, man. These are really expensive for not being perfect. And then, you know, your windshield looks like this. It is obvious that somebody's in there. Well... I guess it's not obvious that somebody's in there, but it's definitely obvious that there's a, a screen in there. And of course, if you do all four windows and you're, you know, parked in a Walmart. <laughs> okay, so here is what my windows look like with my fabric covered weather tech. See, here's, I didn't, that's not a weather tech in the front. That's just a cheap sunshade that I got that I like better because it's not as stiff. It just kind of crinkles up there and I don't have to worry about it. So that's just a reflection. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that there is no way, I mean, it doesn't, help that my windows are dirty. Oh, see, there it is. See, here's the inside of the weather tech. And then here's the fabric cover that I put on. You can see. There's the edge. I just glued it around the perimeter. It's like a, um, a faux suede. There's a, it's actually kind of a, a a stretchy plastic that kind of supposed to simulate a leatherish kind of thing 
and it's kind of a simulated suede on the under, underside, but I chose the flat, um, smooth side to be on the outside, and I just glued it around the perimeter. You see it's kind of crinkly on the edge, but, but yeah, um, you can't tell can't tell see now the bungee is removed and you can't tell at all that anything's in the windows it just looks like really dark tinted windows here's um, a better look at how I covered it Here's the reflective side. You can see, I just, I really just glued around the perimeter. And I wanted to mention, it's really important, well, I felt it was really important to get a, um, an elastic one, you know, some, some material that's kind of stretchy, because what if I want to roll it this way? Like, I, I was just afraid, like, with the rolling it and the manipulating it, I didn't want it to pull and have any reason to like start trying to detach and so what I'm putting it in is this is a sleeping bag bag that I'm keeping it in because the bag that came with it uh, I don't know where it is right now is way there's no way you can get the, this full set into that bag even without the covers, it was really freaking hard to get it in there. They need to reassess the bag because it does not work. It was so much trouble to try to get in there. And I, you know, I don't even have the windshield one in here because I'm not using the windshield one. Just for reference purposes, this is how it looks when I took them all out. I'm gonna try to get one at night too. So you can, hopefully you can kind of see you know, I have my windows tinted, just not very much because I wanted to be legal in at least most states. Well, I didn't take that off yet, but you can see, you can see the difference. I just took them out. Okay, this is with the dome light on. This is at night with the dome light on. I mean, there's, you know, I'm just at a truck stop. So, I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll open the doors, you can see inside, but like, you can't, you can't even tell. Like, even right here where it was annoying me that it was kind of buckled out, like, you can't tell. And look, <laughs> That's how bright it is in there. And you can't tell at all. I am even really surprised. Like, I haven't done this before and wow. <laughs> this is just like reflection from the lights outside. That's not, I mean, I'm gonna turn the lights off now. Okay, and now this is with the lights off. And you see it's totally dark in there the lights off. I, I don't think there's any difference. I'll have to look at the playback when I can see better, but there might be a tiny little bit of difference there, but I don't even know. Pretty good.